Good evening, I'm Jeff Koinange, and this is Jeff Koinange Live. Tonight, you know if it's Thursday, it's all about inspiration. And we've got a great guest for you tonight, a man who's literally fallen from grace, hero to zero, still trying to pick up the pieces and go on with his life. It's a story that you must listen to because it could happen to any of us at any point in life. This man was the hero, the legend, arguably one of Kenya's greatest cricket players, bar none. Man of the match in several matches, several ODIs as they call them, one day internationals. He was in the team that beat the famous, the great West Indies team back in the day. He was the man. In 2004, some 11 years ago, he was accused of allegedly match fixing. He was slapped with a five year ban. And you know what five years does to a cricket player? It's like a hundred years. He tried to come back five years later and he did pretty well. He was 40 years old then. He did pretty, pretty impressively. But the forces of evil, as he calls them, the enemies were all out to get him. Today, he's down and out, literally in the streets, begging for a few shillings to get through the day. It's been a tough climb, a tough road for one Morris Odumbe. But the greatest thing about this man is he hasn't given up. That's why we're doing the show today. There was a blog a couple of days ago by my good friend Robert Barale. He'll be on the show a couple of minutes from now. And he, was, he ran into Morris because they're childhood friends. He ran into him in the streets not too long ago. And he was touched at how low this man has sunk. And he wants to do something about it. And so do we. That's why we're having this Inspiration Thursday with the man I still call the legend, Morris Odumbe. Morris, good to see you. Good to see you again, Jeff. And I know it's been a tough climb for you, and I could say Happy New Year, man, but, um, <laughs> you know, maybe it's not so happy for you, but um, mm -hmm. thanks for coming over, man. And I, I, I sent out an APB last night. I don't know if you heard about it. I heard about it. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, my phone was off. You correct, know, correct. Sometimes circumstances doesn't allow one to keep a phone. Yes. If you know what I mean. I, I, I don't know. I do okay. know what you mean. I do, I do yeah. know what you mean, but maybe people over there may not know, and the fact is, you, you give up your phone every now and then? Yes, because at times, Jeff, when you don't have anything in your pocket, uh, they call it rehani. You know, it's, it's like uh, you go to uh, shenanigan. You know, it's borrowing money. You put your phone down, they give you money. Then after a few days, you take it back. Uh, if you have the money. If you have the money. Uh, and of course, there's a deadline. Uh, and then uh, you pay 30% of the amount that you borrowed. So if you take, for example, a thousand shillings, you'll have to pay 1,300 bob, something like that. That's the interest rate? <clears throat> That's the interest from rate. From these loan shops? Absolutely. You're yeah, kidding yeah, me. Yeah, take it or leave it. And that, that thousand shillings is what's going to get you through the day or get you a day. meal? Or... Absolutely. My transport from back home and into town, you know, then meet a few friends here and there. And some have not been supportive. and. Uh, Luckily enough, Robert has always stood by me. I've met you a couple of times. Yes. You've, you know, you've, you've brightened my days uh, on those occasions that we've met. Maurice, let's go back a bit because you know, it's, it's difficult to put mm. this in perspective for someone mm. who was at the top of his game. Right. You were at the top of your game. I was. If you were in America mm -hmm. and if you were playing <laughs> American football or baseball for that matter, right. you would have been the superstar because right. you had the charisma, mm -hmm. you had the panache. Good <laughs> word, I like that uh, word. Uh, yeah, panache. Yeah, yeah. And, again, yeah. and of course you had yeah. the skills. Right, right, right. And that mm. was a plus and a minus as well. It was indeed. Right? Because, uh, Jeff, when I look back, I wonder was my success actually, uh, um, what is it, a mm. curse mm. in and disguise. I, as you talk, my, uh, mm. uh, Morris, mm. we're going to show some clips of you mm. back in the day in the Kenya right. team wearing the, the famous mm. Kenya shirt mm. and doing your thing. Go on, carry on. Right. And uh, because I thought I was doing it for Kenya and I really loved going out there wearing Kenyan colors and doing it for Kenya, as I said. But I never thought at any one point that it will come to this, that what is it that I've done to Kenyans, that they have to hate me so much. You know, I've tried seeing Dr. Wario. I've only met him once. 
there was a time I even used to take Bilali, the former boxer. You know, he had a, a, a scary wound on his leg. Uh, thankfully, it was sorted out by one good Samaritan after having tried to see Wario with yeah. Bilali. And I thought I was having problems. Before we come to Wario, uh, Maurice, mm. tell, talk me through what we're seeing now because mm. some of the footage was you're at a, an ODI, or One Day International, mm -hmm. thousands of supporters out there. Right. You're out there and you're batting. Mm -hmm. What was that feeling like? Oh, it's it's always been a well. It was a great feeling, you know, stepping out there, forty thousand plus screaming fans, and you are wearing the Kenyan colours knowing that back home people are watching what we are doing you know we were literally the kenyan ambassadors out there so whatever we'll do on the field will reflect even on somebody like you for that matter yeah. and you are very strong in cnn yeah. when we were playing and we were proud that actually kenyan can kenya can produce such wonderful players, yeah. you know, reporters, you name it. I just mentioned, you guys beat the West Indies. Mm -hmm. You beat the West Indies. We beat the West Indies, and these people had been our role models. These are people who were watching on videos those days, you know. We didn't have DSTV and all that, <laughs> you know. And, and just to go out there and beat them, you know, at their own game with the likes of Brian Lara, yes. Kurt Ambrose, you know, you name it. They had them all there, and here is a group of uh, Kenyan boys no professionals playing with maize cobs or sogoro yes. you know using a dustbin as yes. the wicket yes and then to go out there it's it's like Arambe stars beating brazil <laughs> for that matter yeah. that's right absolutely yes and, you, and, you were the germany of that time we were indeed. but that's another story yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> okay um did you think you were invincible then maurice did you think that nothing could touch me well it depends on how one wants to look at it because i thought while well, I could have been invisible because I was doing my trade, I was doing it well, without any problems. I knew the whole country was behind me, even more used to send messages for that matter. Mm. Yes, he used to. And uh, as a, I don't know, I don't think I was untouchable. I knew I was, they could touch me, but for what reason? You know? and, and you talked about allegedly much fixing. Mm. You know? And let, let me clear this, it was never much fixing. It was, it has always and will always be in appropriate contact. It was never much fixing. It, my accusation is that why are you friends with that bad man? That was my accusation, not because I was fixing matches. It is because I was friends with a bad man. Let me ask you this, Maurice, and, and you know, this is 10 years later, so you know, you, you know, you can talk freely and it's water under the bridge. Absolutely. Did you ever fix a match? We never fixed any matches. We were always the underdogs, Jeff. When we were playing India, we are the underdogs. When we were playing West Indies, we are the underdogs. Right? So how can we fix when we are the underdogs? But maybe the odds, the, 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 the uh, you know, maybe you would lose by 10 wickets or you'd lose by, you know, 50, whatever it is. Was there ever that discussion? Did you ever, ever throw a game? Well, if we were throwing any games, Jeff, we would not have reached the semi-finals of the 2003 World Cup. Because if I remember, we steamrolled practically all the top teams. And that's why we reached the semi-finals and narrowly lost to India. So if we were fixing, we would not have reached that far. We would have been home in the first round, right? And this person never approached me, this Jagdish Soda fellow. Fine, he was a bookmaker, that's what I came to know later. Mm -hmm. But all these years that we had been friends, he had never approached me about fixing a game or throwing a game or sport uh, fixing, as they call it. Yeah. How some Pakistanis were caught in England, you know, doing that. But it never came across whenever Kenya was playing. And at times, I was not even the captain, so it would not have been possible for him to come to me alone. At the same time, uh, Maurice, uh, look, people say you lived, you lived a very high life. Uh, you know, you, you, well, uh, Jeff, you know, it's, it's, it's normal, you know. Well, I, I, don't, I wouldn't call it excess or uh, out of this world sort of a life, but I thought I was just living what goes with my trade, you know. Uh, I was being paid. Uh, I was traveling, I was seeing the world. Yeah, people say that he was flamboyant, mm -hmm. probably deserves, uh, you know, what uh, befell him and all that. But I don't think it was that 
extraordinary to be honest with you probably yeah. to some people and you and i we used to meet in some places which were perfectly normal absolutely for, and people do say you were very generous by the way that you know the <laughs> strangers would come up to you and you would give them money uh, maurice strangers <laughs> in fact robert will tell us a story uh, in a short while where some woman approached you she had two little sons outside the hilton <laughs> and she's probably watching right now because she's in the uk <laughs> destitute desperate for money and you reached into your pocket you gave her 10,000 shillings she contacted Robert last night she told him whatever Morris wants mm -hmm. get in touch with me well, the strange thing is I can't even remember that but you see um, yes <clears throat> I used to even sponsor events back home you know uh, 24 football teams 12 netball 10 volleyball you know and it will run for three months I've, I've done all this but you know, as I said, it all goes with the territory. Yeah, but some critics will tell you, will ask you, Morris, look, where do you get that money from? How do you sponsor 24 teams? How do you, how do you splash so much money? Where do you get the money from? Well, it's got to be from match fixing. No. <laughs> well, I'm not splashing it like Sonko, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't splashing it like Sonko. But the thing is this, I was also playing professional cricket overseas. I was playing in Bangladesh, I was playing in South Africa, and of course I was getting paid in dollars. I was playing in England, I was playing in Holland. So I, I get paid for all these things. And and Safaricom used to sponsor me. So many people used to sponsor those events, those tournaments. Fine, uh, hospital bills, you know, that, that was within my reach. So I, I would pay things like that. You know, I don't deny that. but. Probably I was doing things that to some people appeared strange. Mm. You know, in fact, in one of the events that uh, uh, I had organized back home, uh, somebody actually wanted to manhandle me. And believe it or not, it's James Reggae who stepped in, actually physically, by then he was not an MP. Mm -hmm. He's the one who stepped in and actually saved me from the wrath of this guy. James Rang himself. You kidding? Moshimiwa. Moshimiwa, our current uh, member of parliament yes. now. Yeah, he, st he stepped in and actually physically to restrain the guy from attacking me. So obviously there were a lot of enemies, Maurice. Absolutely. What is it mm. that made people hate you so much despite what you, you thought was you were doing was right? What is it? You know, Jeff, I am also baffled, I'm, I'm, I'm bewildered. Um, I, I don't understand where the hatred has come from, honestly. Um, and, and, and back home, people, not back home, I, think, I, I mean back overseas, uh, out there where I used to play. My friends in Wales probably assume I'm, I'm driving a Lamborghini, mm -hmm. you know, I've got horses in a stable somewhere, you know, but it, it is sad that my own people could come to hate me so much it, it's it's not true you know fine the icc came they did what they had to do to me that's the other icc right yeah the other icc yeah, not correct. the one people correct, yeah, correct. yeah 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 let's, let's make that clear yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, people get confused then they wonder how did they let you go yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. so yeah. um the thing is uh it happened with these other people they were all foreigners they all came down here they bulldozed fine whether correctly or wrongly, I served the five years. Yeah, you got your band. I got my band, and, and they gave it to me proper. And you served your time. I, uh, nicely, you know. It's only that it wasn't in committee or right. in industrial area. Yes. But I served my time, and in, in the process, Jeff, I suffered, and I'm still suffering. You know, You're suffering more now. Uh, uh, more now. And the worst part is your own wife mm. sold you out. Let's face that. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's. Uh, it's, it's a fact. It's, it's an open secret. Uh, she was approached by the investigators. I don't know what they promised her. And uh, she came out and, and, and said things because you have to remember at that time, she could have said anything. And those people would have believed anyway. Right. You know, sometimes, uh, excuse my Swahili, mm. but Ngozi, uh Ngozi. -huh. Yeah, so uh -huh. who do you believe? Correct. Urana. Correct. Here is this guy from Park Road. Yeah. You know, yeah, from the jungle. You know, yeah, from the jungle. There you you go. know, Alkwana uh, Tembe, I'm Gutupu. You know, now at Jesus Amepata, Odiero, he thinks he's what? You know? Yes. So, let's teach him a lesson. Yeah, absolutely. You know, let's pig him Kiboko. And, and, and they believe everything she says. And she, she, um, she, she sold their story. I mean, she, mm, she, 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 she gave them what they wanted. You know, whatever they wanted to hear, she gave it to them. Like, oh, there was a time she went to the Grand Regency at the parking lot and 
Jagdish gave her 10,000 dollars in cash, so they were wondering what is this money for and all that. You know, every, now anybody will call my name if it's an Indian, uh, it is Jagdish. Mm -hmm. You know, that time my phone used to ring all the time. Now it doesn't ring anymore. Yeah. You know, until I wonder. And that's why I give it out because who's going to call? You know, not even to say jumbo. You know, I don't even remember how many happy birthday, you know, wishes I got. Yes. But anyway, that's the Let me ask the you point. this, Morris. Yeah. Uh, how bad has it gotten for you? Jeff, um, it has gotten bad, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I don't even know where, where to start. You know, it's it's, um, it's 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 been painful, honestly. You know, when you go there, you hope that um, you'll meet uh, people like Robert. You know, just to give you something. You know, just you know, just just to push you. And you know, you you wonder. You know, all these things that you did and. You know what, what was it for? Honestly, you know, you know why? What, what have I, what have I done? You know, uh, who did I wrong? Yeah, you know, what, what have I done? Have to you, have the, you ever uh, contemplated suicide? Uh, you know, um, I've contemplated many things, Jeff. I'll be honest with you. I've uh, experimented with things that um, I should not have experimented with. You know, I've tried drugs. I've um, I've even at one time I had to check myself into um, a rehab because I thought I couldn't handle it anymore. Um, yeah, can, can I have a tissue? Please? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, can we get a tissue, please, mm. Nick? Sonia? Uh, sorry, man. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm. All in hand. Yeah, so, you know, um, yeah, yeah, and some people have been. Uh, <clears throat> Supportive, but it, it, it is painful, you know. When you when you walk the street yeah. and you have nothing in your pocket, mm -hmm. you haven't eaten in a couple of days, and you're looking at these people and saying, "Look, c can you can you can you loan me fifty shillings? Can you loan me a hundred shillings?" It, 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 do they look at you and say, "Aren't you Maurice Odumbe? Aren't you the superstar?" <laughs> uh, <coughs> you know, I, I don't know, you know. You know, sometimes uh, you, you, you don't know what to say. Honestly, it's uh, it's painful. Huh. Yeah. Let's take a break, my brother. Hang in there. Hang in there, bro. Hang in there. <clears throat> Superstar Morris Dumbe. I keep saying he is the legend, and there's nothing wrong in second chances. At the end of the day, it could happen to any of us. There's nothing wrong with giving a man a second chance. After all, the pictures you just saw on TV, the man representing the country, wearing the Kenya colors, being proud to be a Kenyan. And all that disappeared just because of some allegations. And even if it was true or not true, the man deserves a second chance. That's what Inspiration Thursday is all about, second chances. Keep tweeting at Koinanga Jeff. The hashtag is JKL. Coming up, the man who wrote the blog that went viral. An old time friend of Maurice Adumbe's, Robert Barali. Coming up, talking more about the legend himself. JKL takes a break. We'll be back in a moment.